does Earth look like from space? Why is space dark? Do you get seasick in space? If you put them down, you're gonna slow down. When you're outside, that's why the fire there's no goes. gravity. So you get to float. I am Sharon Hagel, and I am a Virgin Galactic future astronaut. Today was so exciting. We actually went to visit an elementary school here in Central Florida. It's called the Park Maitland School. We visited first graders and we talked to them about space travel. Now somebody tell me where we are on your school. I just picked up the telephone and I called the headmaster. I told her I was a Virgin Galactic Future Astronaut. We started with zero gravity. We had that running when the children came in. And then when I came up and started saying to them, who wants to go to space, all their hands went up. How long are you in the spaceship? Who was the first person in space? Do astronauts travel to other planets besides the moon? Now what happens when we come back into gravity? And we went into some of the details about being an astronaut. We showed Virgin Galactic spaceship travel. We showed Google Science Fair. After the assembly, we took the opportunity to walk down the hallway with the students, and it was exciting to watch them come up, and we got to learn a lot of interesting things. The last thing we did today was we went into the classroom. We used Google Earth. Park Maitland! And they got to see their school, and then we started zooming out to the different locations, whether it was commercial flights, whether it was the stratosphere, and we ended up at the International Space Station. And they were like, Wow, can you zoom in on my house? We showed how the mothership drops the spaceship, how the spaceship ignites. They had a lot of questions. They wanted to touch. They wanted to feel. Oh my gosh. We decided to do this activity. I asked them to draw me a patch so that Virgin Galactic can have a patch for their future astronauts, and they were so excited. I'm standing on the moon with my American flag. These are the exciting things that we want children to be thinking about. So what is this, the children holding hands around the world? Here it's we. I wanted to make this my mission because I feel very strongly about educating children at the age of six and seven, engaging in math and science because Statistics show that if you have not hooked them on these subjects at that age, you've lost them. And with the astronaut corps being over 700 plus, it's going to be an instant globalization to inspire students in technology. It's a chance to make a difference. And if I can get one or two children to really think about this and remember it, then I've made a difference. And I think that's what Space Kids Global is all about. That's why I feel this program is so important. Because when you go in and the children are asking, are you an astronaut? Can I be an astronaut? It's all about the future.